Okay, let's start by talking about the troposphere. It's the lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere. And as we learned in the layers of the atmosphere video, it's warmest right by the surface of the Earth, because the surface of the Earth is absorbing the sun's radiation, about 50% of it. And so as you get farther away from that surface, it gets colder. In other words, as you go up into the atmosphere, away from the Earth, it gets colder as you move through the troposphere. Now, this allows convection to take place because the air near the surface is warming up, so therefore it's spreading apart, becoming less dense, and so it rises up, okay, and circulates around. Now, because that at the surface it can evaporate water, and then that water can rise up, and then when we get to the top of the troposphere, in the stratosphere it starts to get warmer, so it's already less dense up there, so it won't go any higher because it's not, it's more dense, than the stratosphere. So that water vapor can only be carried within the troposphere. And therefore, all clouds and weather, or at this point, I guess we know that most clouds and weather um, are located within the troposphere. That allows you to see in the picture behind me, if we know that all the clouds in this picture are within the troposphere, you can see that where the oceans, where, where are we, there we go, where the oceans end here, it's not like they're clouds way up here. They're only 10 kilometers up, a little bit higher near the equator, a little bit lower near the poles, okay? But that troposphere is fairly small compared to the size of the Earth. The Earth is 12,000 kilometers in diameter approximately, and 10 kilometers 10 kilometers out here, very small, very, very tiny. 10 kilometers is the thickness of the troposphere. Um, other things to know about the troposphere is that uh, pretty much all planes travel within the troposphere. If you take a plane trip to New York or somewhere, uh, you won't typically go above the troposphere into the stratosphere, although there are some planes that do that. Um, and I believe that's all you need to know about the troposphere. The troposphere.